Hello everyone, it's Benicia, your Community Outreach Specialist, and today I am bringing you a video to talk about my, my partner in crime, another one of my partners. I feel like I've had so many partners in crime. Now I have a group of partners in crime in my office, but basically my main partner in crime, that's Amanda Hunter, who is our Community Engagement Specialist. So we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about what she does and her role in our office, and I guess a little bit about your hiring process, if it's different from Ashley's, but Come on, just come on. Okay, everyone, let's formally introduce Amanda Hunter, Community Engagement Specialist. It's different than you. It is, a Community Outreach Specialist. Community engagement specialist. There's a difference, guys. She's the yin to my yang, the the salt to my pepper, the chocolate the butter to, my to your bread. bread, the butter to my bread, the vegan butter to my there vegan go. bread. Good call. I just had to throw it in there. I had, had to. to. Throw it Good in point. There. But first of all, welcome to our channel. This is this is Amanda's debut. This is. I feel like I already said that. My big debut. Mm. But okay, so. Break it down for us. Break it down for our fault. Tell them a little bit about yourself. So, do you want my background? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah, because it's your job. I'm going to have Amanda do a five things video with me too because I ask everyone to do one. So, but this can go in this video. This works. Yeah. So, my background is mostly in public relations and marketing. Work never stops. <laughs> <laughs> that was an email that I, because you all know I use my phone. So, notifications pop up on the screen and <laughs> I got distracted. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so my background's in public relations and mm -hmm. marketing. Um, I've worked at a couple of different places. Mm -hmm. I've worked in the theme park and entertainment industry. Where did you just come from? Bush Gardens is where I just came from. Super you guys should cool all place. know Bush Gardens. Yep. If you're local, you mm -hmm. definitely know Bush Gardens. I feel like you if should. you're not a local. Yeah. Is Bush Gardens pretty popular across I think so. Yeah. yeah. I feel like a lot of people. A lot of people come from all over to go to Bush Gardens. Mm -hmm. I met a lot of people from not Florida. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. The first time I ever rode a roller coaster, because I don't like heights, first time I ever rode it, it was the big blue and yellow one in the back, but the curve. Yeah. Mont Pi Python? Mont Mont Kumba? Kumba? I don't know. Probably you go Mont up, you go blue up, and yellow is probably and it curves Mont curves yeah. down. That and you hang one, from the top? Yes. And yeah, that's really Mont That's my favorite. No. The first time I ever rode it, there were Germans, two Germans sitting next to me, and they recorded me the whole time because I was screaming like bloody. This. They had a bit, it was so long, that they had a video camera and I was screaming bloody What were they doing? Mary. Just sitting there? They were on the back of the roller coaster. We were at the very back and they were recording on the ride. Sorry. Oh my I great. Thank you. <laughs> just what I wanted. I just tears streaming down my just face. Just what you wanted to commemorate that moment. Yeah. I had, there's no photos on that none. one. So I had walked you have on. the video. I'd walked on, sat down and like cooked but fake hooked myself about six times and like run off and my friend do you Alan was do with it me. Or not? It was he rode it by himself six times before I did it on the seventh yeah, time. So I was deathly afraid of roller coasters when I started there. Hated it. Would not get on any roller coasters. And, and by now you you love I've them. ridden them all. Now. And I like them. That I'm fear sorry. doesn't just go away. <laughs> Like they're <laughs> still, ride them they're still tall. <laughs> if you get enough friends to force you on them, which is what like, happened to me. You're just like, it's whatever. Yeah. Okay. I apologize, guys, but she came from Bush Gardens, and that's really exciting <laughs> yeah. for all of us in the office. Okay, but. And then before that, I worked in sports. So that's I worked really cool. at um, a couple different colleges, including mm -hmm. uh, University of South Florida. USF. Go both. That's where I went to undergrad, I didn't go so. There. This is my favorite though. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh, okay. So you worked in sports too. Mm -hmm. So did you do. Like kind of what I did, like did you run like social media platforms? And, no, I actually or? did, in sports, I did all of the um, in-game stuff that's not the actual game being played. So the music you hear, the PA announcements, oh. like if there's video board graphics, mm -hmm. I coordinated all of that. That's really cool. Yeah, okay. in-game entertainment. So if there was like a game being played or something, mm -hmm. that was me. I like it. Yeah. I got some talent in this office. <laughs> What'd different. You, what did you do at Bush Gardens? So I did mostly uh, partnerships and promotion. So mm -hmm. my a large part of my job was working with media partners, mm -hmm. mostly radio. Okay. Um, which is super cool and mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Got to travel around, go to a lot of different radio stations. Nice. Great what? jobs that cause you to travel. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, and then I worked with uh, partners like Publix and Coca Cola. <laughs> we have some okay. special okay. guests. Can you? I, 
Can you guys hear them? There's no way they can't hear that. It's pretty loud. I thought it was an alarm system when we first walked over here I to mean, sit down. It kind of is. It that is true. It might be a pet. They're like we guard dogs. Pasco. Yeah, we live in Pasco. But guard geese. Guard geese. G G G squared. G squared. The new revolution in <laughs> really home cool. security. That's really cool. So what do you do with how long have you been with us? It's been like uh, a week and a half. <laughs> Six days since we it. had the past two off. I love it. And okay, okay, so hot off the press, mm -hmm. hot off the grill with us, you hit the ground running. Yeah, we had a press conference my first day. Yes, I got to I jump right in. My, our boss, mm -hmm. one of our bosses is gone, you guys know. Mm -hmm. The other one was, he was in Vegas that he, weekend? He was out at a meeting. In DC? Somewhere. New York? Not he was here. somewhere, not here. <laughs> and I was still like, I'm drowning, Amanda <laughs> <Please> here. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so you, but that was, you were incredible. You're already incredible. So just <laughs> tell tell the people, what, what is your job? So entail? my day today, mm -hmm. um, for the most part, I am going to be managing um, relationships with media. So mm -hmm. doing a lot of story pitching, mm -hmm. finding out what some of the good stories we have here mm -hmm. at the sheriff's office are. Um, and pitching those out to media. Mm -hmm. So instead of letting the media come to us, we're really trying to get those out to I them love that. proactively. Okay. And then that's, that's proactive. part of my job. And the mm -hmm. other part I share with you Tag is with uh, me. PIO duties, so mm -hmm. public information officer duties. And you guys know that we uh, handle press conferences, press uh, conferences, phone calls, morning snapshots, records requests, yep. all media questions when the media listens to our scanners. Or they get tips which and stuff. Yes, which they are. And okay. they like to call, yeah. Yeah. So that's so you soon, because you're still learning, of course. Sure. Basically, everything I do media related, I bring Amanda in. Her office is next to mine. I'm like, come look. Join the We're both vi yeah, visual learners. Um, and soon you're going to rotate on call weeks with me. Very soon. Yes. Much to your relief. Yes, much to my <laughs> relief. It, I think in like two weeks on, two yeah. weeks off yeah. right now, because our now. other boss is gone for another, we found out today, another like four to six weeks. Yeah. So, but that's, that's cool. So what, so far, what have you been doing so far in regards to like building our relationships with the media? Sure, so I'm working right now on pitching a story out to some of our uh, local media, both mm -hmm. radio and TV mm -hmm. um, for January, which is um, Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Super important story yes. that um, Pasco's got a lot of resources for and we're okay. trying to kind of spread the word and let people know mm -hmm. not only about human trafficking, which is big in Florida, but mm -hmm. also a lot of the resources available to victims I of human that. trafficking. It's a great story. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, so about that's it. where it comes. So it's it's the news. Yes, it's I can only think of a, like Bay News Nine, Bay News Channel Nine. Thirteen. Yep. Did I make that up? Channel 10. Channel 10. I don't watch the news. <laughs> I feel like I work in it. I don't watch it outside. <laughs> but all of those. But you said also so like Tampa Bay Times. Yeah. Newspapers, Newspapers and anyone radio, that could. Okay. anybody. I think it's a great story to get out there, mm -hmm. especially it being Human Trafficking exactly. Awareness Month. It's super important. That's it's really a cool. great opportunity for us to talk about it. That's you. So that's a lot of being creative and thinking on your feet. Mm -hmm. We'll try also trying to figure out what the media would want to pick up and on. And what fits. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's not necessarily like a morning story. Daytime TV. Daytime like, TV. It's see a lot of, of cooking demonstrations and stuff yeah. like that. That's different mm -hmm. yeah. so maybe i mean if you guys have any thoughts we always love suggestions throw Please. them down in the comments below but you gotta think it's different from what i bring you guys yes this would be more on a larger scale i feel mm -hmm. it could possibly go national so right what do you exactly. think that maybe the media would be interested in mm -hmm. or i keep throwing ideas for what you guys want me to do yeah mm -hmm. and then speaking of national um i also manage part of managing mm -hmm. my media and relationships with that, I uh, manage relationships with television shows. So live yes, TV, that is PD true. Cam, mm -hmm. all those fun shows, Cops, investi investigation, investigation dis discovery. discovery. <laughs> we can say it. Yes, we, which is what I've been pulling all of the records and mm -hmm. video footage and photographs for that because there are a couple cases that were picked up that yep. they want to be doing for that interesting. a series that they're coming up with. So yeah. that's so from time to time we get mm -hmm. those requests. Lately, there's been quite a few. There was one from year. London, one from Canada, one from California. This The Discovery Channel show, oh, that's yeah. out of New York. Yep. That's a lot of paperwork. I just feel bad for all the trees. <laughs> a Can't lot of digital. printing. Yes, so much printing, so much <laughs> redacting. Yeah. But that's really, that's really that's cool. A lot of black marker. 
Yeah. So you're basically, because I mean, people might not understand when you're mm -hmm. working with TV shows, like, I mean, I'm pulling records, but like, say like PD cam or whatever, mm -hmm. the interviews for that, you're helping to schedule, them, schedule them, set those up, sitting in on them to make mm -hmm. sure, because you never know what could happen. What we're I mean, talking about, some of the exactly. case information is still sensitive mm -hmm. if the case is ongoing, some of it. We can't really release, so mm -hmm. just making sure we're saying the right things. Reporters, that are, and that they yeah. don't ask or question or probe yeah. about that. So that's a lot of our role when it comes into, like, press conferences and whatnot with mm -hmm. the media, making sure that they stay on topic and do not get off topic or yeah, make whoever they're... asking about cases that are unrelated. Exactly. Making or, our, the individuals they're interviewing flustered or, you know, anything like trying that. Trying to catch them off guard. Exactly. So just Tripping them up. That's kind of being fair. the guard dog. Yes. So that's a... You do a lot. Mm -hmm. You are definitely an asset already to our office. Boom. Happy to like help. Like I said, we tag team, but two different things. Two, yes. Two different roles. Still very important. Yes. We have two roles each, and yes. one role overlaps. <laughs> Boom. Yes, it's the same. Yeah. Oh, but that is Amanda Hunter, Community Engagement Specialist. It's nice to meet you. Nice to have you. C-E-S. C-O-S. There you go. Maybe one day both of us CEOs. You see how I hey. that? That would be nice. Okay, I'm kidding. But thank you for taking <laughs> some time to talk to us. If you guys haven't liked this video already, like it. Um, there's nothing really to like mention about your hiring process because it was basically the same as Ashley's. It's, We're all yeah. civilians, so there's mm -hmm. that. But um, yeah, thanks for having us. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time. Bye, guys.